You're listening to a Frequency Podcast Network production. The Brock and Dalby Podcast. This is the Brock and Dalby Podcast. Welcome to Monday. My name is Brock. I'm Dalby. And uh, if you're paying attention, if you're a keener on this podcast, you may notice that it's going up early today. Normally, podcast gets posted at about 12 o'clock. Right now, as we record this, it's about 9. I'm going to run home. I'm going to post it online to where you listen to this podcast, and then I'm finally going to murder my lawn. You're going to cut your damn grass? I'm finally going to cut my grass. Uh, If anyone missed it, I got mad at Dolby a few weeks ago because he's on all this no mow may nonsense. My kids love bees. It's like a running joke. It's like a family nickname because we're doll bees, right? So the bee thing, I have a tattoo of bees. We're a very pro bee family, so the no mow may thing, but they have taken it to the next level. I wanted to mow the lawn about a week ago when I watched a rabbit jump into my backyard and get lost in the weeds and they wouldn't, they were like freaking out. Yeah. So they're at school today and I have had enough and I am officially the last lawn in the neighborhood. Every other house in the neighborhood is mowed. I don't know if that's anything to be Uh, proud of, honestly. I got a text message from a friend of mine. Her daughters used to come babysit my kids when I would like go out and stuff. They probably thought you died. She messaged me on Sunday asking if I was okay. And I was like, yeah, no, like I'm feeling really good. Uh, No, I got to ask, and I don't mean to be a dick, put you on the spot here. Sure. But is it actually because the kids love bees or were you being a little lazy? No, I mean, I we've always had the joke of like, I love no mow yeah, may because yeah. it means I don't have to mow. But I'm well past the point of like, I because w- now it's going to be more work. Like, I literally am going to have to take out my like weed whacker, <laughs> knock the lawn down first. Sure. Then I can mow it. <laughs> this is not a lazy situation anymore. I, I hate no mow may. I know I said all this stuff before, but I hate that like there are people that like use the excuse and they're like, no, I'm trying to help out the bees. Yeah. And it's like, you don't give a fuck about the bees. No, for me, it started as like a really cute thing that my kids were super into. Yeah. And now I've lost my lawn and I'm like, I got to do something. So they're at school. Yeah, and I'm going to go and murder the lawn when, before they come home. Yeah, I'm sure the rest of your neighborhood honestly appreciates it. Like I said, someone literally reached out to me and was like, are you okay? I thought your lawn was a cry for help. If after three days from now, you, like you haven't cut your grass. Yeah. Shame. Absolutely. Absolute you shame. You know what? Honestly, when we're doing the intro to this podcast, I'll say Wednesday because it might rain and that would obviously hamper yeah, things. Yeah. If by the end of the week, I don't have my, my lawn cut, I don't show you pictures come back on this podcast and rip me apart you're the equivalent of like the lady who drinks wine because it's healthy to have a glass of wine every day <laughs> like you're one of those people who reads one thing online and it just falls for it dude that's you all know that what? is i know that it's working because of all the damn pollen on my car all right <laughs> we're helping <laughs> allegedly or you're just giving yourself allergies <laughs> The Brock and Dolby Brock and Dolby Podcast. The Brock and Dolby Podcast. Want to talk about uh, a huge problem that's going on in a small village in the UK right now? Sorry, I know I'm not the only one. What is this from? No, I know, but I've heard it. What is it from? Robot chicken. That's it. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to derail. <laughs> no, no, no. Carry on. No, no, no. <laughs> There's a village in England, apparently, that is being tormented by some feral chickens at the moment. Feral chickens? Uh, around 100 chickens uh, have started roaming into this town of around 2,000 people. Uh, they come into town, allegedly just causing a ruckus. <laughs> Uh, They've been known to dig up people's gardens, uh, harassing pets, of course, harassing people. Uh, Some people even say that they're keeping them awake because they're just clucking away. Okay, well, you said there's 100 chickens and Mm. the town has 2,000 people? Mm, About that, yeah. That's 20 people per chicken. Like, (laughs) fight back. (laughs) Well, that's what I was thinking automatically. Like, the whole town is like, we're trying to figure out a way that we can move them out of town. Like, I know a way you can move them. Breaded. Deep fried. (laughs) It feels like the solution is very easy. I mean, like, I don't know what the laws are. I guess if it's sure. a feral animal. You're like, right. And also, I mean. <sighs> they do that with pigs, though, right? In Texas, like people who get in yeah. helicopters and they'll snipe all those hogs. That's right. They, hogs. Make, yeah. they make it a hunting experience for wealthy people. Mm-hmm. They call it population control. Yeah, yeah. Can we not get a little population control? Can we get the colonel? 
over to England <laughs> and get him to take care of the chicken problem over there. For one man, that might be a problem, though. You think one man can't take 100 chickens? One man versus 100 chickens? That <laughs> might be a little steep. That could be deadly, dude. Chickens, don't, they don't mess around. I'll say this. I think one man versus 100, like, farm chickens, like mm. regular chickens... I think you got a shot if you got a weapon. Yeah. Feral chickens might be a different. I've never seen wild chicken before. I don't know. I'll even say, man, I've never liked the term like calling someone a chicken because they're scared. Because mm. it's like if, if you've ever been on a farm before, I mean, some roosters, dude. Yeah. I mean, hens are a different story. Hens are a little more. They're a little more timid. A little, a little more, more timid. But those roosters, boy, like <laughs> that would be a slow death. That's just being pecked to death by one of those things. I, I suppose that's another question. Is, do we know the gender of the chicken? Mm. Like, right? Because I feel like that does make it. It is one of the few things where gender does matter, you know? Yeah, and it's it's just in there, you know, how how likely are they to try and rip my face off with their talons? (laughs) The last thing you hear before you die is... I mean, if I'm being honest, on this very program, I proudly stated that I could uh, dust off, was it, 25... 10 year olds or something mm-hmm. like that how many uh you're in the coliseum yeah 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 yeah. how many chickens you got a hundred chickens in there how many are you taking out what do i have am i in there bare hands bare hands bare hands and feet yeah so I'm, I'm snapping necks if i'm trying to take these chickens out i'm gonna say i could do 50 50 50 I, if i have to stay on brand right if i say i can take on 25 10 year olds or whatever the, the question was yeah then i have to at least double it for chickens i feel like as as long as you're wearing pants like you're probably good for a bit but it's mm. just like if one of those chickens somehow pecks you and then like they, if they can get you in the eyes or something like that's true you're screwed i do have weak points if i, think- I was a boss at a video game there would be <laughs> some big glowing marks on me i mean they're also known for going zombie mode so like if you rip off a head or something true yeah you know? chicken with his head cut chicken off. with his head cut yeah, off that's right yeah, you're running into a whole conundrum here, man. The key man. is you got to grab the chicken, and then you got to do the, the, the Ozzy Osbourne move, and then you got to throw both parts. That's yeah. the only, that's so they can't come back and get you. Yeah, yeah. Someone is listening right now and is not happy. You're in this. a real life cockfight, is what you're in, basically. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mike Vick's in the crowd. It's crazy. <laughs> I I think I think I take fifteen. Fifteen? E- easy fifteen. Brother. Because think about it, you're reaching at them and stuff. There's only so many of those pecks that you can take until yeah. you're like, I'm done. I'm done. Like Oh, you're tapping out? I think I'd tap out, man. Brother, that's the problem. You gotta get that warrior mentality. It's me or them. This I, is to the death. I like the emo music. The other stuff didn't do me so much though. One, sp- <laughs> one species or two species enter, one species leaves, all right? The first cut is the deepest. Remember that. I'm not going out unless those chickens end my life. <laughs> Orphan my children. The Brock and Dobby Podcast. A lot of people are texting in saying, well, I just I just go around kicking them. But the thing is... That's a bad strategy. you ever been around chickens before, they do that weird, like, kind of flutter thing or yeah, whatever where they, they, like, step back a few feet. You'd keep missing them. You're wasting energy at that point. They're very evasive. I will say this. I said I could do 50. I actually have had a change of heart, and I'm putting myself at a minimum of 75. <laughs> Because what I was saying was you just got to get a hold of one chicken, you break its neck or whatever, you throw it away, that's one down. No, you keep it, and you hold one in each hand by the neck, and now you've got none chicks. <laughs> none chicks? <laughs> I like your style, And dude. now when the chickens come after you, you swing another chicken at them. Yeah. That's psychological warfare, brother. Uh, we did get a text in here from someone at 762 that says, as someone who has fought a turkey before, I mm. would much rather fight a chicken, which then I ask you the question, how many turkeys do you think you could take out? Turkey's a whole different animal, man. Yeah, turkey those things are wild up. beasts, man. I got trapped in a car by a wild turkey once. Mm-hmm. Well, it wasn't even wild. It was someone who kept it as a pet, which is super weird. We pulled up to the house, and all of a sudden, in my driver's side window, mm-hmm. turkey sitting there. And I thought about getting him with the door, but again, the turkey lived there, so I didn't want to be that guy. Turkeys, I mm. they got much more size too, yeah. and then when they're in the their gang kind of squads, that's just it. Man. They roll deep, dude. I think I put it. I think I put it at twenty five, same as the twelve year olds. Twenty five. I think they're about the same size as the twelve. I honestly think I get like five. I think you just. I think you don't give yourself enough credit. I don't like birds. <laughs> birds freak me out. You know what? Here's my question for you. 
How many geese can you take? <sighs> I don't even think I get one. <laughs> I think I think I like grab one and yeah. I try and throw it and I run. He hisses at you and yeah. you tap out. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing too is uh, out of the three birds that we've talked about, the geese is the only one that can actually fly. That's true. And they like to fly low. Yeah. And they come at you, dude. Like oh. I, I don't know, man. And if they got their babies around, like yeah. I think you have a hard time getting more than at least two or three geese. Getting there's the, a flock. Getting tower buzzed by geese. Oh, <laughs> the last thing you hear before you die is, mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> What an awful way to go. <laughs> Be terrifying, dude. Yeah, I feel like once you get up to like goose size, I feel that's an angry, aggressive animal. My number comes down. It's maybe five, mm. maybe five geese, 25 turkeys, 75 chickens. How many squirrels? You know what? I honestly, I don't think the squirrels beat me, but they're so fast. I don't see myself landing a strike on a squirrel. Mm-mm. Honestly. Mm-mm. I literally just watched a squirrel run across the street out they're the like window behind you. Dude. They're, yeah. they're insane. Yeah. I don't know if I could land a hit on a squirrel if I had a mallet. Like, I just don't think I could do it. I, and then they do that, like, with, they even make those weird sounds where they, like, taunt you and they're like, that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and it also depends on, like, the battlefield. Like, hey, if we're in, like, a bullfighting ring, like, it's open, flat land, then I got a better shot because I'm going to see them coming. Sure. If there's any kind of elevation or if there's any trees, they're dropping on your head and stuff. Raccoons. How many raccoons do you think you could take? <laughs> I'd, be t- I'd be too inclined to try and pet them. Mm. Like, oh, come here. I don't fella. get that. Everyone thinks raccoons are cute. They're yeah. disgusting, dude. <laughs> They're disgusting. And they just, like, they rub their hands like Mr. Burns all the time after they dig through your trash. Oh, that's part of the appeal. Yeah. It's like, mm, hi. I think I could take more raccoons than geese for sure. <laughs> okay, how many raccoons are you taking? I think I could at least take five. Five raccoons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 One, well, basically about one family of raccoons. Yeah, those those ones I think you could kick a lot easier. I think that's your only bet. I don't think you're throwing hands at a raccoon. They're too low down. Mm-hmm. Unless the only reason you throw hands is if they jump at you. Yeah. And if a raccoon jumps at you, that's like a face hugger from that alien movie. Yeah. They're just going to latch on to you and you are punching yourself. In, you almost just need to keep like a garbage can to mm. kind of like keep them locked Ooh, in or something. If or... you could have the lid of a garbage can as a shield like yeah. Captain America. Yeah. Now I'm up to 20, 25 raccoons. Easy. <laughs> Swatting them away. Patoong. Uh Final one. Someone just texted in. All right, boys. All right. How many pigs are you guys taking down? <sighs> I just fair feel, hands. I feel like it would be really hard to knock out a pig. Yeah, and like I don't know if I'm wrong on this. I don't know if it's just the feral hogs, but mm. like they'll eat humans, right? Oh, that's uh, what was that, that movie? Uh, Jason Statham movie, Snatch. Is if that... a pig gets hungry enough, they'll eat through bone like butter. Is that a real thing? I, it was in a movie. Why would they lie? Yeah. <laughs> no, I have heard if pigs get hungry enough, but I don't think it's. I don't think that counts if you're alive and moving. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like a pig can't eat me alive. Well, the toughest thing is the arena. Is like, are you in the pig pen? Because like Slopping that's their around. domain. Slop mud, all yeah. the turd and everything. Slipping and sliding around. Yeah. You slip, fall, bang your head. Pig starts munching on your body. Mm-hmm. You lose, brother. Charlotte's Web Part Two sucks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of inspirational quotes and spider webs, it's death threats. Yeah. Wilbur's coming. You know those BuzzFeed quizzes that are so much fun? Yeah, that's not what this is. It's the quiz with Brock and Dolby. All right, it's time for Dolby to shoot his shot. Uh, today's edition of the quiz is songs with shot in the title. I'm the guy that goes to the fair every year and pays to do that shoot the red star out of the middle game and mm. loses every year. So this should be great. Hey, hey. Very excited. Shooters shoot, but uh, <laughs> can you get a shot is shoot. the real thing. Shooters shoot is the slogan, but people don't acknowledge that shooters also miss. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, only keep, they only count shots on net. Remember that. All right. Uh, all right uh, we got a lot of text in here and suggestions <sighs> for the quiz. Uh, okay. This one should be easy. When I say Bob Marley and the Whalers, you would say... I shot the sheriff. There you go. Damn. I was hoping that one was... Because you always start with kind of an easier one. I was really counting on this being deeper in the list. What did you think I was going to start with then? I don't know. I was just hoping it was something else easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This one should be easy, too. When I say Pat Benatar, you would say... Oh. Oh, please, dude. Don't make me shame you. <sighs> Benatar sh- uh, sh- shot... Um, <clears throat> no? No. 
Well, I said it. You didn't mm-hmm. hear it? Mm-hmm. That's on you. You, you can go ahead and hit the ding. I said it right. You don't got anything? I, I got nothing. You don't got nothing? <sighs> you ready for this? Yeah. Best shot. shot. Guys, uh, you, you go ahead. Uh, normally, I fight you on the bell. You I'm sorry, You dude. go ahead and hit it. No, you don't have to be sorry. <sighs> Okay. That sucks. All right. I don't have much hope for the rest of this, then. This is not good. All right. When I say ACDC, you would say? Is it shoot to thrill? Uh, No, it's shot. Oh. It's not shoot. Uh, Is that your final answer? Well, obviously no, because you told me it was (laughs) wrong, dummy. (laughs) Uh, You know what? I don't know, then. That's the only one that's... I can't get it out of my head now. Shot down in flames. Yeah. We play this one a lot. No, we do. We Absolutely. Do. Uh, they all sound the same, all right? <laughs> Trying to divvy up which ACDC song you're talking about, it's like staring at a 3D puzzle. Hey, Eventually, you'll get it. Well, <laughs> you're, you're one for three so far. They still <sighs> trying to turn this around. When yeah. I say... I'm going to say 1.5, by the way, for Shoot to Thrill. <laughs> when I say Ozzy Osbourne, you would say... No, see, now I'm all flustered. Um, Ozzy Osbourne. Come on, dude. Come on, please. Shh. I'm rooting for you here. Shut up, then. I'm not even trying to screw with you, man. <laughs> shot, shot in the dark? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a shot in the dark from you. That was a shot in the and dark. the correct answer. <laughs> Through the uprights. <laughs> Sometimes that's hey, all you need is a shot in the dark. You know what two out of four is? 500. 500. <laughs> All right. Now, this one is a song that I forgot about, but uh, I think you might be able to get it. Okay. When I say the band Filter. Hey, man, nice shot. Yes. That's, a, that's the best song you've listed so far. <laughs> Questionable on that. I'm pretty sure that was in a Dave Mira BMX game for the PlayStation 2. You're right. What video games were the rest of these songs in, Brock? Here we go. All right. There we go. So, right now, we are three for five. (sighs) And let's see if we can get over 500 to finish. Is is this the last song? The last one here, brother. So, hey, worst I go is 500. We call that a win on the quiz. You should be able to get this one. Carry on. When I say LMFAO, you would say. Is it just called Shot, Shot, Shots? <laughs> I know the song. I made the joke earlier. I never knew the actual title. Is it that basic that it's just Shots? It's just called Shots. <laughs> God bless LMFAO. Never, I mean, they're broken up now, but never change. And uh, and to celebrate here, uh, how about we take a, a shot of this gin yeah. that I brought in this morning, all right? Shots for everybody. Shots for everyone on a Monday morning, all right? <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a comeback. What a turnaround. Congratulations. I am I am so very proud of you. That did uh, not start off the way I thought it would. No. But, uh, <laughs> you, you did a lot better than I thought you would. You Plus, know? I got the half point for shoot uh, shoot to thrill that oh I gave my myself. I practically nailed this one. Beautiful guys. stuff. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> guys, give Dolby a round of applause. <laughs> the Brock and Dolby Podcast. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that is the sound of oh. someone who has not turned off their texting sounds? Is it the keyboard sound? The text tones? Oh, I hate that. On your cell phone, which for those people who don't know, that is a thing. Like your phone can make noises each time you hit a letter when typing a message, Who's sending doing a text, that? inserting a phone number. In all this of it. day and age, who has the keyboard sound on? Uh, the mother of one of the children in my son's karate class. <laughs> And I bring this up for that specific reason. I'm not trying to shame anybody. Yeah, yeah. But I'm sitting, my son's karate class is in a building that doesn't really, you can't go in and watch the class. So me and my oldest, we're sitting out in sort of the waiting lobby or whatever with the other parents while the kids are upstairs breaking boards and stuff. And all of a sudden, from across the room, I hear this sound. Oh. And I... I don't know why. It's repulsing. I immediately was like, yeah. <laughs> I hate that. In the year of our Lord, 2024, I found someone who still types with that noise on. Well, uh, uh, you don't need the noise. You like don't. it doesn't do it's not like you're using a typewriter. You need to hear the <laughs> sing. 
<laughs> Could you imagine if it did that? Every time you hit period or enter, if your phone went ching. Dude, thinking oh. about it now, that time and period when you were around someone with a typewriter probably drove you crazy, honestly. Oh, just- dude, when you'd be in like an office, like a writing pool, and there's just the sound of a dozen people all typing on typewriters, ching. loud clacks, loud bells, sliding bars, you'd like lose your mind. Yeah, uh, I, I, I don't even understand why anyone has the keyboard sound on. I, I, because that means you have your ringtone on too. Yeah, I don't remember the last time I had my ringer on that wasn't by accident. I don't know what my ringtone is. <laughs> I know I have one. It's funny because I can remember a time when I've got like my first cell phone and I'm going through all the ringtone options. And this was before you could even have custom ones. I'm assigning different ringtones for different family and friends and situations. You'd pay like $9.99. I remember there'd be all those commercials for them all the time too. You could download ringtones. You could get custom ones. There were apps you could get to make your own custom ones. If I heard someone's ringtone was like an actual song, right? I'd be like, what are you doing? Man. Why would you do this to yourself? There's even the odd time, like uh, some of my dad's friends will have like the old spice, like kind oh. of. Do 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 do. I'm like, oh, or even, dude, whenever I hear this, uh, it's such a simple, basic noise. But both my kids, because they're not like me, right? Like, I we're in radio, we have our stuff on silent all the time. And I don't have, think it's just us. You don't think so? No, no, no. I do do a poll right now. Seven six two triple five. How many of you actually have your ringtones on at all times? Whenever I hear someone doing this, I'm like, you're just trying to show off. You're you, trying to flex that you're getting texted. You're just trying to be like, oh, look at me on Mr. Popular. Because you ever notice they're just getting a million texts and all you, you keep hearing it over and over again? Like, and you know what? You're not getting texts or DMs or messages. That's all spam emails. You're, you're just, just texting yourself, dude. You just signed up for a bunch of mailing lists. I, I think in this day and age, no one actually has their ringtone on. I think there might be a certain like age range where mm. it might separate. Yeah. There's the odd time if I need like if I know I'm getting a call and I sure. need to know but I don't even know what my ringtone is anymore if I need to get a call I do not put my ringer on I hold it in my hand I do not put my phone down until I get that call mm-hmm. I walk around with it like I'm Edward 40 hands oh man the, <laughs> some people have the duck one the whack Oh, oh God! Wah, or wah, even wah. remember when 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 iPhones first came out and then Twitter came out, yeah. you could get a, like a bird whistle if you oh. were getting a notification on Twitter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <A little Yeah. laughs> Just keep it in your pocket. You feel the vibrations. That's all, right? all you need to do. The Brock and Dobby Podcast. My wife got a new phone and she didn't know how to change her ringtones on it, so she mm. hands it to me. Says, "Can you put some ringtones on this, please?" <laughs> and I'm going, "Oh boy." <laughs> So, without telling her, I set a very nice phone ring, but the text message, I set it to the goat screen. (laughs) Amazing. And at the time, she had a friend, like, instead of texting an entire, like, you know, get everything out in one text, she'd text, like, two words at a time, ding, 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 ding. Well, my wife grabs her phone, (laughs) and off to the clinic she goes with my son, because he wasn't feeling good that day. Yeah. About a half hour later, I get a phone call, and she is screaming at me. <laughs> How do you turn this off? <laughs> so every I'm time- in the clinic waiting room, and my phone keeps screaming at me. <laughs> so every time that she'd get a text or whatever, she'd get this sound? Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's the one. That's so good. <laughs> I was in so much crap that night. Oh, I, I believe it. I believe it. A, a round of applause yes. for Cliff. That's amazing stuff right there. And you know what? Hey, only the first text was your fault. If her friend had known how to text properly all in one, mm. all those other screams could have been avoided. Uh, we're talking about this because we were asking you guys, 762 ringtone on or off. And uh, you know what? There's a large amount of people who say they they keep it off, but also a huge amount of people saying they still do. I mean, most of them are saying due to work, yes. basically. Right? That seems to be the number one reason is I need to have it on at work. I need to have it on for like I'm on call, that sort of thing. I understand that. I do like what uh, somebody said here. I can't. I just lost it, but uh, it's I have my ringer on because I need it for work. But I turn all my notifications to silent. Everything mm. but the ringer is on silent, and that's totally fine. Like I understand that sometimes you need to let the phone ring. My phone hasn't rung 
since 2009. I was going to say, I mean, for work, yeah, we have the phone line here. But I personally, I don't know about you. I hate talking on the phone. That is, yeah. I, I mean, despise it. There's nothing more that drives me crazy when someone calls me and I'm like, dude, just text me. Dude. I would say, no, it's not even just text me. Because if I text you, you're like, bro, send me a message on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and Dolby actually just send exclusive messages through Facebook. Like, if our Facebook yeah. accounts get leaked, we're going down. We send go. DMs on Facebook and inappropriate memes on Instagram, and mm-hmm. that's it. I yeah. texted you once, and you were like, bro, we're not like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just, I hate when some people call me, and I'm like, what are we doing here, dude? What's the purpose of this? What's yeah. the value of I, this phone call? I pay for this phone yeah. so that I can send text messages, right. and then I can go on social media. That's what I have a phone for these days. That's the, That's an interesting interesting thought because there are people in this time right now that are looking to go back to like dumb phones or like smartphones ruin everything i just want a phone that can send texts and do phone calls and that's all i want and i honestly think i might be the opposite i would pay let like if i could buy a phone that didn't make phone calls yeah you can still text me but everything has to be text or like video chat based I think I would get that phone. Which it's funny because I remember being a kid and when someone called our house phone, mm. I used to be over the moon wanting to answer it. Oh, you run that. I got it. I got it. I got it. Versus Especially like, you had a sister. Yeah, yeah. Versus like there's times now where I even see like my mom's calling me and I'm like, oh. Uh, and it's not because she's calling me. I'm just no, like, I just hate talking to people on the phone. It, it like, could literally be anyone. It's not a mom thing. It's a why is someone calling me thing. And like 90% of the calls that I get on myself phone or just scam calls yep asking me if i want my ducks cleaned or something oh like, dude because i still have my saskatchewan phone number because it's cheaper to have a saskatchewan number out mm. there dude the number of calls i get from people pretending to be sasktel or sask power mm-hmm. oh your account is in arrears oh really out here in ontario my sask power account is in arrears yeah get out of here yeah i don't know the last time i had a meaningful conversation with someone on the phone you know <laughs> so don't hear someone said so how do you guys feel when you call somebody for the show you've called me twice and i feel like a dumbass yeah every it's time. work dude <laughs> <laughs> we just like everybody else we only use the phones at work. We hate getting calls, but we will call you at six in the morning if we have to. <laughs> We're the duck cleaners of the radio industry, dude. <laughs> this, this is the Brock and Delby podcast. I don't know if you've seen uh, the clip going around. Uh, there's a guy that went viral on uh, Wheel of Fortune last week. I have not. What did he do? Uh, uh, you know, it's best of me not explaining anything and just just playing you this here. Tavares, right in the butt. Excuse me? No. He went to try and <laughs> fill in the blanks. Oh, was this? Okay, that music sounds familiar. Is this where they're like, they're at the end of the show, yeah. they got one more puzzle, yeah. and he thought it was right in the butt? He thought he was filling in the blanks here. <laughs> Tavares, right in the butt? <laughs> what? I thought he was filling in something. No. The reaction oh from God. that lady right away Was there. that one of the other contestants? <laughs> what? <laughs> She's no. looking at him like he just cussed on television. Mind you, uh, there wasn't. He didn't even have the right amount of letters for what he said. It wouldn't have fit. Uh, here was the correct answer. Blake. This is the best. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> it. I think. Yeah. You're that's right. Answer. This is the best. Oh, uh, typical guy trying to make it fit where it won't. You know oh, what I mean? Oh man, uh, the guy looks so embarrassed, and then immediately after this happened. How you doing, Tavares? You've already made an impression on us. <laughs> I apologize, but I was a little excited. <laughs> no, we'll figure out a way to handle that tastefully. I have no idea what that'll be. But... See, I almost feel like Sajak's making a bigger deal of it. He just moves on. Yeah, I don't think yeah. he's got to hold the guy's hand and be like, well, you messed that up. I will say he's going to have his 15 minutes of fame of being the right in the butt guy. Tavares, right in the butt. <laughs> what? Her reaction sells it. Oh, her reaction is amazing. What? I don't think I've ever, like, I used to watch Wheel of Fortune every day. It was Wheel of Fortune, then Jeopardy, then The Simpsons on CBC North back when I was a kid. Mm. I love Wheel. I don't think in my existence I've heard a contestant react to someone else's guess ever. Well, and it's got to <laughs> suck to be that dude because, like I said, it's 15 minutes of fame. Yeah. It's going to die out pretty quick. 
But I think if you're one of his buddies, that's just it. For the rest of his days, yeah, you're gonna be saying to him just randomly, right in the butt. <laughs> you're right. Like to the world at large, some other video will go viral, and we'll all quote that. Like we've already moved on from uh, the the I like to part time to party guy yeah, from yeah. last week. We're past it. But if you're in this person's life, if you know Tavares personally, right in the butt, you are. <laughs> He's saying right in the butt for the rest of his life. If he was smart, he would have been selling shirts immediately that just say right in the one. butt. Yeah, you got to have a link to you an Etsy. You made a fortune selling those things. Dude. Right in the butt T-shirts with uh, like that Wheel of Fortune big board font mm. would have been perfect. It's crazy because it's like I think we're all like one freak out at the grocery store from going viral. Oh, you know? in today's society, man, everybody's got that. Everybody's got that thing on them now, and by that I mean a cell phone. Mm-hmm. You have to mind your p's and q's at all times because we are you said it one freak out away from having a catchphrase saying one thing like right in the butt (laughs) as far as catchphrases go though that's a pretty good one i don't know where this guy works but you know for the rest of his days that's all he's gonna hear man Uh, right in the butt eh? right in the butt right in the butt for more brock and dolby Tune in weekday mornings, 5.30 to 9. The Brock and Dolby Podcast is brought to you by BadShop.ca, the Brock and Dolby merch store, with all proceeds going to the Canadian Cancer Society.